Hi, for this quick tip, we're going to take a look at Animator with Infuser and specifically Animator's Arpeggiator. I've got Fuser's initialization patch here and I'm going to load in a single instance of Strobe. I'm going to edit that and I'm going to load in a keyboard patch, Wave Delays, which is a nice kind of wave table ish. pluck sound. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the animator. First of all, it's worth explaining that when Fuser is being used as a plugin within a host, the default is for Fuser's transport to sync automatically to the transport of the host. So if I press play in live, you'll see that the transport runs in Fuser and you can also see our animator scrolling through its steps there. Uh, now at the moment it's not doing anything. If I play the keys, I just get the normal strobe patch. And that's because we're in mod sequencer mode. Mod sequencer mode uh, doesn't send any notes to the destination of animator. It just passes through any notes you play on the keyboard. What we're going to do is we're going to put it in advanced mode. And you'll instantly hear it starting to play constant uh, C notes. So we're going to change the latch mode to off. And we should have a very basic arpeggiator now. If I hold down a C minor chord, it's scrolling through those notes in a forward mode here. We can change that. We can change the octave range. Now where it starts to get interesting is we can use the pitch graph of the animator to offset the pitch of notes in the arpeggiator, like so. We can change the duration, step duration. change the number of steps and this is where it gets really interesting because what's happening now is that the number of steps in this graph here is different to the number of steps that are rotating around the arpeggiator because it's a three note chord so what we're getting is every time this loops around the these offsets are offsetting different notes in the arpeggiator so we get a very complex evolving arpeggiator What I like to do at this point is put on a little delay. Change the velocity. We can actually gate certain notes on and off. We can add a repeat function. wonderful evolving arpeggiator textures. Um, the slightest change in any of these. The art poly is interesting. If we play a three note chord uh, with a value of two, we get some wonderful sort of um, two note melodies happening in there. And 
that is Animator's Arpeggiator. <laughs>